All right, everybody, <laughs> what is going on? Welcome to another video. Welcome back to the Northern Territory. We've just arrived back and I thought it would be an absolute disservice to you guys who followed my journey, who follow my YouTube channel, who followed these vlogs over the last few days to not give you a quick rundown, a quick, you know, just some thoughts about how this weekend went. So, as you know, I spent the last four days in Melbourne. On the Wednesday, I was meant to hit my first ever football training. It didn't happen, for whatever reason. It just didn't happen, man. Couldn't get there. Anyways, I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna let that ruin things. If I can't make the training, there's a reason for that. Whatever reason God has for me, I, I couldn't make the training. But what that meant is that I, I had no chance of playing the game on the weekend. So one of the main reasons for me going down to Melbourne over the last few days was to get on a football field. Finally, lace up the boots, put the pads on, put the helmet on, and get out there on the field. You know, I didn't care where I was gonna play. I just wanted to get out there. And you know what? Lo and behold, it didn't happen. But I did make it down to watch. So I saw a momentous occasion occurred on Saturday, which was yesterday. I saw my first live down of football. My first live down. It wasn't NFL, it wasn't college football. It was Victoria Gridiron in Melbourne. And it was great. It was fucking awesome, I loved it. And it, wanted, it made me want to get out there. But I tell you what, the, the weather, it was like five degrees, it was raining. And I was like, holy shit, if I didn't have gloves on, my hands, I wouldn't even be able to catch the ball, man. So I can, I can definitely understand why these guys wear these sort of um, hand warmers around their, their waist. But anyways, guys, look, fantastic experience. I met, I met the people I needed to meet. I met the treasurer of the club. The first person I talked to was the president, believe it or not. Um, and I, I met the coaches as well. So if at any point I want to head back down to Melbourne, hit a training during the week, I most probably will be able to get on the field, but I'll have to play some, pay some registration fees first. Anyways, guys, um, they did say that if there's a bye week and they're not playing on the weekend, they have two trainings. They have one on the Wednesday and one on a Sunday. There's actually two weekends in a row coming up where they have a bye, this particular team, uh, the second division team. So what that means is that for two weeks straight, they're having two trainings a week. So for me to get the most out of a couple of weeks down in Melbourne, as far as football goes, I would want to hit it on those weeks because I don't think, you know, there's, they were telling me, I saw, the, I saw the squad there. The squad was about 40, 40 players deep and there's 11 players on the field at each time. Regardless of what position I'd want to play, I don't think I'd see many minutes. You know, they, told, they, they literally pointed some people out. They said, look, this guy over here, he comes down every week, he suits up every week and he'd be lucky to get two minutes on the pitch. You know, and that's the reality of it. When you've got players who want to play, for me to come down from Northern Territory, fucking just roll up at a training and expect to get on the field for a decent amount of time, just doesn't happen, man. You've got to put in the effort. You've got to get down to training. You've got to put in the effort and it, it, gets, it gets noticed and you will get a starting spot on the squad. And that's, that's how I would expect it to happen. So the only reason I thought that I might be able to squeeze into this team is because there's a second division team. So there's the top team, which is the Warriors, and then there's a second division team from the same club called the Barbarians, and that is the team that I went and saw. So, I had mentioned that some of the players in the top division team from this, this club played for Australia in the past, and I saw a couple of linemen. I saw the size of them, they are about 6'5", 260, uh, but I didn't see any skilled players that had played for Australia. I, I would have had to stay a lot, a lot later in the day, and um, like I said, man, it was getting fucking freezing, and I wanted to get out of there. So I saw, I saw a few down. Or actually, I saw like three quarters of that game, um, the game that I would have been in, possibly. What that's done, it's, it's just, it's lit a fire under my ass, man. It's, it's. I've been like, okay, well, I've seen it now. You know, there's nothing. There's no one huge. There was actually an American import in the opposition team um, that had a big rap on him. He scored a couple of rushing touchdowns as a running back. And um, I thought, you know, fuck, that, uh, you know, he looks, he looks like a mean player. You know, I want to be like that. So for me to see something like that in person,
was fantastic for my mindset. You know, it put something, it put a, a, a visual goal in my head that I need to sort of, um, you know, get, get myself towards. So here we are. I'm about 10 minutes away from Ayers Rock. I'm heading back to Alice Springs. I've had a, I've had an awesome time. I really have. Another thing I wanted to talk about, whilst I was down there, I put in work, man. There was two reasons I went down, which I talked about in a previous vlog. One was to meet the manufacturers for my clothing brand, which I did. Something that has been on my mind for so long, I've put money down, I, I still hadn't met them, so I've met them. That's done. Fantastic. Every time I email them in the future, I will have put a face to a name. We know each other now. It's great. Anyways, we did that. We went to the football track. We missed the football training. We went to football game. The other thing that I had in mind to do whilst I was down here, whilst I had some free time, was crack into the top 100. Okay? Crack into the top 100 players of 2018 for the NFL. A lot of you guys have enjoyed that series. I enjoy it. The way that it's put together is fantastic. You know, the way the NFL puts their shit together, top notch. And so with that said, guys, I don't even want to try and explain how much work I've put in over the last three days. But after that disappointment of missing that training, knowing that I probably wasn't going to play the game, I woke up on Thursday morning and said, fuck this, I'm getting to number one. And that's exactly what I did. So I, <laughs> I reacted to from number 70 all the way down to number one in three days and so what I what I hope what I hope I hope to God that you guys really enjoy it I hope to God that me doing 70 players reactions within three days didn't reduce the quality of the reaction but I don't think it did I seriously don't I had a fucking great time the whole way through I just had to get some sleep and eat something because that's what I find myself doing man when I really get into some editing or making videos I can go hours hours without even thinking about eating and then my stomach will rumble I'm like fucking hell man when's the last time I ate probably about 12 hours ago so those are the kind of mindsets I get in that was the mindset I was in all the way down in Melbourne and I'll tell you what man we went we went uh, in threes so 70 69 68 was one video 67 66 65 and so on all the way until the top 10 in which case I started doing one video per person so for the top 10 of the 2018 top 100 players in the NFL, I did a video on each player. Now, a lot of those players are players that you guys have been uh, requesting and I hadn't done yet. So after this vlog, that's what you'll be seeing over the next couple of weeks. All those videos being released. I hope you've enjoyed this journey, this last four days that I've spent down in Melbourne. I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride. I appreciate all the support. As you guys know, I, I, I do. You know, I can't really say too much more about that. I appreciate everything you do, guys. Oh, fuck, there's one thing. There's one thing, man. I tell you what, when I saw this, everything's happening in, in sync. I don't know why. In October this year, Australia will be hosting their first ever international scouting NFL combine. Australia, okay? To make it to that event, you need to attend one of five regional qualifying events okay in two weeks they're holding a regional qualifying event in Sydney and in Brisbane you have to do five drills nothing else no skill I don't think unless you want to but there's five drills this is like a, a, a qualifying event you don't actually go to the combine unless you register yourself in one of these five events go to it and do these five five uh, drills so they are Number one, I've done them all guys, I've done every single one in previous videos, which fucking excites me man, holy shit. I tell you what, my heart skipped a beat when I saw this. Literally in two weeks I could be in Brisbane trying to put my name forward to be an Australian making the NFL, if I want to. YOLO man, will I make the NFL, will I, do I really think I'm going to make the NFL, I don't fucking know. But I'm only getting older, I'm 27 years old, it's just, uh, it's just a new set of steps, it's a new set of footwork that I plan on bringing to the game, you know, if I'm coming up, if I'm a receiver, you're a cornerback, right, I'm coming up to you, you know, I'll be fucking, I'll, you can't cover me, so anyways guys, those five, sorry, don't, don't, don't hate on me too much for doing that, I just got a little bit carried away, carried away, but, but look guys, the reality of it is, the reality of it is, I'll arrive there, I have to do five drills. The 40 yard dash, the 5 10 5, the three cone drill, broad jump, and vertical jump. Okay? So, 
That's all I'm going to say about that. If I make it to the combine, just know that we called it here first. We fucking called it here first. YOLO, man. YOLO. You can do anything if you set your mind to it. And I'm running out of time. And time is our biggest asset. And it's running out for me. So if I don't go to this at age 27, it'll be a whole nother year. I'll be age 28. Who knows where I'll be? I might have I might have too many responsibilities that I just cannot make it, you know? This is possible for me to actually get there. So I think I'm gonna do it. And over the next two weeks, I'm just gonna try and prepare myself to the best of my ability to go there and smash through those five drills in the fastest, in the best way I can. So that means sprint training, that means resistance training, that means hitting the bench press, which I haven't done for a while. That means going down to the field, practicing my broad jump, practicing jumping up and out rather than just out and practicing my, my vertical as well. I'm excited man. I'm excited. I only found out about this combine last night and it's happening in two weeks. Like that's what I'm saying man. This, this shit is just all just happening just too, too coincidentally you know. Just too much. Seriously. So anyways. Over the next couple of weeks, like I said, I'm going to prepare myself as best as I can for that. But the videos you're going to see are the top 100. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed. When we get to number one, before the start of the regular season, like I said, we'll be coming back to vlogs. And I'll be updating you on how things went in either Sydney or Brisbane when I go and attend this combine. Because you know what? When I started this conversation with you guys just 20 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, I was convinced I wasn't going to go. But after talking with you guys, talking it through, why the fuck not? That's all I got to say. Why the fuck not? Wish me luck, guys. It's going to be a fun couple of weeks. I'll tell you that. Peace out.